Yo, what's up guys? It's Opt back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a free Fortnite banner and header that looks clean and is simple to make. Won't take you more than 10 minutes to make and I have all the templates for you. If you guys enjoy this video, drop a like and subscribe and anyways, let's get right into the video. So we are going to be using this free photo editing software called Pixel. So type in Pixel E and it's the first link. All you want to do is hit open image and then I'm going to load in my banner background which is in my template that is in the description below so feel free to use it and then you want to hit original and then apply and then this is already in the YouTube uh, banner format so it, what it, the the only thing that it's going to be seeing is inside this box sorry I had a brain fog but yeah so we're going to add our render in and we're going to make it a little bit smaller but like I said they won't be able to see this so it doesn't matter if they overlap don't worry about it but that looks pretty good and then second off we are gonna add a red smoke which is also in the template in the description below so feel free to use it and then we're gonna hit add to current and all we're gonna do is make this slightly bigger so it fits the whole screen and then we're gonna lower it just a tad bit like that and then we're gonna add some text I'm gonna add my name opt. I'm gonna change the font to around like 330. Uh yeah, like 330, 360 is a little too big. So we'll go 330. I'm gonna move it. And then we're gonna change the font. The font's already built in, so just type in uh Monanta and it's gonna pop up here. Make sure it's centered. And then you're gonna hit the styles and add a shadow and just scroll down and turn the opacity up a little bit and if you want you can tinker with the blur and distance doesn't really matter and then second off we're gonna add italic so it looks a little bit cleaner and we're gonna have to add the shadow again like that and we're gonna move it back just a tad bit like that and then next up we're gonna add our twitter logos which is right here also the description so we're gonna have to move this and then go like this and then make it smaller put it right here I'm gonna add a twitch logo add current I'm gonna move it over the reason I have to move all these because it gets in the way. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna add the smoke back. I'm gonna add the text. And that's basically it. All you want to do to export it is file, save, and then save as a PNG and hit download. And then what you can do is go to YouTube. You can go to your channel and upload it. Go to your YouTube studio, go to customization, and you can change it from there and make sure it's centered so it fits everything. But yeah, that's it for the YouTube banner. Now we're going to make the Twitter banner. So just go to home, have an open image, and then I have a template for the Twitter one. So just hit it here. So basically, it's just here. Uh, this background is already fit to make it. So you're just going to drop it in, and then it's already like this. So we're good. And then, second thing, we're just going to add everything back. The only thing different, the Twitter one's way smaller, so it looks a lot more compact, if you know what I mean. So we're gonna add like that. We're gonna add our Twitch logo. And then, we're gonna make our opt. Uh, change our font to Monanta. try to move this <coughs> nice side all right we're gonna just gonna delete it because I couldn't find it and we're gonna add a text layer I'm gonna put my name opt and then we're gonna change the font size just a tad bit and then we're gonna move it down so we can see it 
I'm gonna make this smaller just, just by a couple hundred so like 200 just so we can fit it in uh, we'll probably have to go a little lower um, and actually that looks fine yeah and then we're gonna change the fonts just change it to Monanta do the same thing start format italic size you can bold if you want uh, bold doesn't even look that good but if you want it's up to your personal preference and then just change your opacity change your blue a little bit and then you can change it I'm gonna make it two, 225, that's pretty good. Actually, yeah, like 200, maybe 210. Yeah, like that. And then I'm gonna add a new text layer. And we're just gonna do our social, so slash opt. And then we're gonna go like this gonna move it up so we can see it we're just gonna have to make it very smaller okay we're gonna move this for right now just so we can align this easily all right and then we're gonna duplicate it and then switch this to season and then what we're gonna do with this one we we'll change it uh, color to red could change it to every color I'm just gonna change it red for right now and then you can italicize but actually don't italicize it doesn't look good and we can add a shadow and then line it up and then do it to the other one so we're gonna have to move this and then do style shadow add a little bit of shadow in there it's not a big deal and then I'm actually gonna space it out and then there, and then bring your text back. And boom. That's your Twitter banner done. Like I said, guys, if you guys want all the assets that I use in the video, the, here it is. It's going to be just called Ops Banner Template. It's going to be in the description below. You'll see it if you guys want to use it. But yeah, anyways, if you guys thought this video was enjoyable and uh, you guys enjoyed it, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe. But anyways... Peace out. Use code opt.